no matter how many YouTube videos I watched on this topic, it was still a little different actually getting out here and doing it myself, and it started off pretty good. The rear blade had it angled. This, this rear blade, it can angle, it can tilt, and it can offset. So you have a lot of flexibility. You can get um, hydraulic options as well, which would be really handy considering the amount of times you're gonna see me move this and adjust this blade in this video. But this blade here will tilt, uh, physically tilt, up or down, left to right, 30 degrees, which I thought would be, and actually a lot of customers have asked uh, some of the smaller blades how much they can tilt, and they tilt 15 degrees, but this 30 degrees I think is actually too much. I found myself trying out the 30 degrees and kind of tilting it, and there's a lot of different compound angles you can get with this thing, and it really wanted to dig down too much. It would kind of want to pull the three-point hitch a little bit goofy and not keep a straight line, put a lot of strain on everything. And so I went back to the 15 degree adjustment. I think it is right around there, kind of the, the first tilt angle. And that seemed to work a lot better. And so this was a trial and error experiment for me. I'm putting in a drainage ditch, just a, a shallow ditch alongside the gravel driveway in a couple of different areas. I've got a lot more areas to do, but this was the first go at it to see how I could do. And I don't want this to be a super steep drop off. So if you're driving a quad over or a tractor, the skid steer kind of makes a big um, up and down motion to it. I want it to be just kind of natural feeling almost. And I'm gonna be topping this whole driveway off this year with another four, five, six inches of stone, uh, the finished surface that we have on here. And I wanted to get the ditching done and make the mess prior to having that finished material on there. And so there's gonna end up being more elevation to the driveway and then more crown as well. So more slope that's pushing that water off to the sides and then really enhancing that ditch effect and so while it may not look super steep right now i think by the time i add more material it's going to be exactly what i need so some things that i learned the side away from the driveway is a lot easier to work with than the side nearest the driveway if that makes sense because i don't want to push dirt onto my drive and so it's just a different way that you angle the blade um, it works a lot easier on the side away from the drive. And then you can kind of feather all that other material out. I'm gonna come back through with a landscape rake and really see if I can kind of thin it out and just let it almost dissolve into the rest of the, the field that's out here too. And you wanna go slow because when you have that bottom corner down there, it tends to wander a bit. And so the slower you can go, I think helps keep it in more of a stationary straight line and not kind of bounce a little bit or wave back and forth at all. So you get a, a, a more even, clean result in the end and then after all that I went over here and, and last fall I was having some fun when I first got my mini excavator and just trying to dig out this ditch originally I thought I would take uh, culverts and run it all the way to the woods but I don't really think that's necessary so I had these straight walls down from the um, the mini X bucket and I needed to make this traversable okay and so I used a combination of the bucket and the rear blade here to kind of taper down those sides and then um, carry away all the dirt and everything else. I probably still need to taper it down even further, but I think this is good enough for me today. I uh, put a pretty good dent in it there, but it's a really good look at the different uses of a rear blade and how it can become almost a jack of all trades. There's a lot of different things. You know, we, we showed it failing <laughs> doing some snow plowing on the driveway. If we would have turned that blade around and made it so it didn't dig in, that would have worked a lot better. Uh, I did some topsoil cleanup over near the gate up front. Now we've done some ditching and some more cleanup here. So it's proving it's worth. This is a lot of different uses for this rear blade here. And you get them for all different sizes of tractors five foot, six foot, seven foot, eight foot, they angle. You wanna get something wider than the machine, so when you do angle it, it's still covering your footprint. So we carry the Dirt Dog line of tractor attachments, and these are made in America. We carry the five, six, seven, eight foot blades, manual, hydraulic, all sorts of stuff. We ship them all over the country, all the time. So if you're looking to get the best bang for the buck, perhaps a rear blade is something you wanna look into. You can knock out spring and summer chores and maybe those winter chores as well. But that's gonna do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're in the market for something for your tractor, for the front end loader or the three point hitch, we're happy to help. Check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,